Hello. Welcome to the Health and Fitness TV. This is your host, Sunny. In this video we will talk about macronutrients, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. Most of you must have heard the term macros at some point in your life. It is brought up a lot, especially when the topic is about gaining muscle or losing fat. You may have heard it in the context of calculating or tracking macros, but what are macros? Macros are macronutrients. Your body needs these nutrients in larger amounts in order to function properly. Macronutrients provide your body with energy measured in the form of calories. There are three types of macronutrients. Number 1. Carbohydrates. All carbohydrates are eventually broken down into glucose, which is the main energy source for your body. In fact, specific organs, such as your brain, need glucose in order to function properly. Beyond being your main energy source, there are carbohydrates that help synthesize specific amino acids and allow for consistent bowel movements. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that cannot be broken down by your GI tract. Therefore, this nutrient does not give you energy, but it does help rid your body of waste and keeps your intestinal tract healthy. Carbohydrates are not all created equally. There are two types of carbohydrates. Number 1. Simple Carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are easy for your body to break down for energy or glucose. Number 2. Complex Carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates take more time for your body to break down. Number 2. Proteins. Protein allows your body to grow, build and repair tissues, and protect lean body mass. Protein is composed of amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. There are two types of amino acids, non-essential and essential. Non-essential amino acids are not required to be consumed through the diet as your body can actually make these. Essential amino acids are required through your diet. Essential amino acids can either be used on their own or in some cases they are transformed into a non-essential amino acid. Protein-rich foods include meat, poultry, fish, egg, milk, cheese, or other types of animal byproduct foods. These protein sources contain all of your essential amino acids but this does not mean you have to eat animal foods to be healthy. You can get the proper amino acids from eating a variety of plant protein sources such as beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, and soy as well as lower amounts in grains, vegetables, and fruits. Number 3 Fats Although fats have received a bad reputation in relation to heart disease and weight gain, some fat in the diet is essential for health and well-being. It is recommended that 20-35% to of our daily energy requirement should be supplied through the consumption of fats and oils. In addition to supplying energy, fats are needed to supply fatty acids that the body needs but cannot make, such as omega-3. Assist with absorption of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K and carotenoids. Provide foods with flavor and texture. Dietary fats are of three main types. Saturated fat, found in foods like meat, butter, and cream, animal sources. Unsaturated fat, found in foods like olive oil, avocados, nuts, and canola oil, plant sources. Trans fats, found in commercially produced baked goods, snack foods, fast foods, and some kinds of margarine. Replacing saturated fats and trans fats in the diet with unsaturated fats has been shown to decrease the risk of developing heart disease. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please share it with your friends and family. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you are the first one to get notified when we post a new video. Thanks a lot for your love and support. See you all in the next video.